Hi everybody, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Calvin here to talk about training. Not training for a marathon, but thunderstorm training. What exactly is that? Take a look behind me. This is the radar loop from this morning. Notice a lot of green, a lot of yellow, a lot of lightning showing up here. All of this indicating heavy rain and thunderstorms. But notice how all of these storms are traveling in between these two white lines for a span of hours. That's training. Training is what happens when heavy rain or thunderstorms develop over the same area and they move over that area for an extended period of time. So what causes it? There are a lot of different ways that training can happen, both on a local level and a larger level. This morning's event happened on a larger level. Basically, we have this stationary front to our north. That is acting as the focus for thunderstorm development. The storms develop along that line and they just keep moving along. And as long as that line doesn't move, those storms stay parked over the same area. So why is that significant? Because when you get heavy rain over a span of several hours, flooding becomes a concern. We've got flash flood watches in the green boxes there from East Texas all the way into Tennessee. And then on a more local level, we've got flood advisories starting to pop up in some of these heavier cells. And we've seen pretty impressive rainfall totals Notice this bright band here right underneath that stationary boundary indicating where we've seen totals over the last three hours on average between two to four inches. Locally higher amounts though getting close to eight inches in a few spots even here in southeast Texas. We've seen some pretty high totals. We'll have to keep an eye on this because if this continues as we go through another few hours, this is how flash flooding becomes a concern across the area.